Hi there, Luke Riggs, our old artist at Autodesk. And I just want to quickly cover how to create this abstract artifact it's using the camera UV remap uh, in Arnold. It's so basically, we've got a color correct going into the UV remap of the camera with the utility shader set to UV mode. And then we're using a ramp float to control this image, which we're also projecting onto the model using an open BBR material. Okay, so we start from scratch here. So I've got the head model here being lit by a quad area light and we've got a physical camera as well in the scene. And I've assigned uh, an open PBR material to the, to the model. So just start off with the color correct that will connect to the UV remap. Uh, so I'll select the physical camera and you want to make sure that the Arnold properties are added. So if we start from scratch and Go to the modifier list and type Arnold properties. I'll add the Arnold properties to the physical camera. If you scroll down to the bottom, uh, enable that. There's the UV remap right at the bottom here. So I'm just going to connect color correct to that, like so. Okay, and then next we'll create a utility shader. And connect that to the input of the color correct. Set the color mode to UV and shade mode to flat. So if I select the color correct and adjust that, you should be able to see the effect that the UV remapping's having in the scene. Let's put that back to one for now. To add some more distortion, we can add um, the image, but we use the ramp float to, dist uh, to control that distortion. So just connect that to the add. Make sure you set the ramp type to custom so that we can connect the image shader, Arnold image shader to it. And there it is. Connect that to the input. So I'm just going to load a paint texture file. You can see it's distorting the image there. So now we can use the ramp to adjust that effect. Uh, maybe we want to bring this point down. Let's move this to the side. To reduce the, uh, the effect or increase it, or we can uh, adjust this point as well. And we can use the mask of the color correct. So, if you want to reduce the effect even further, you can do so using the color correct mask. Looks so. nice. also offset the image so the image has the offset color as well so we could always adjust that as well okay so I'm going to choose a different image here now and I'm going to connect this to the open PPR set material which is assigned to uh, the model here We'll use a, a camera projection to do that. So a normal uh, camera projection. Connect that to the projection color and then projection color to base color and the subsurface color as well. And if you want to link, make sure you link the camera. So just select that and then select the physical camera. So now we're connecting, projecting through the physical camera now. So just make sure the out to the base color here. So now we're getting the color projected onto the model. Okay, so just to recap, that's the color correct going into the physical camera with the utility set to UV color mode. And then we're controlling the effect using a ramp float with this image here, which we're also projecting onto the base color. And we can also plug that into the subsurface color as well. And add some subsurface weight, which is the radius. Okay, so here we've got the final render. So and you can see if we move the camera around, you can see the textures being projected through the camera via the UV remap. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.